uh, whole body vibration, as I think you all know, is an exercise system that does all kinds of things. It is an intense workout and it sends vibration through your whole body. You can get in different positions that will target different muscle groups. And also, really wonderfully, all those muscle fibers quivering against the bone will signal to your bone that it needs to increase bone density. Turns out that is one way your bones learn that they need to increase bone density is by the quivering of muscle fibers against bone where it attaches. So as you can see, she's doing a workout in lots of different positions that'll end up transmitting the vibration to different areas. Even though if you, if you just stand up straight, you will get a lot of this benefits because the vibration, if you're using the right kind of machine, will travel through your whole body. Okay, so this is a great slide, very encouraging. The mice here on the left got vibration 15 minutes a day for 15 weeks. And the mice here on the right, whoops, the ones on the left, I mean. And then the ones on the right did not get vibration. So the dark areas are fat. And you can see that the mice that got the vibration have a lot less fat, which is just sit in a bucket on a vibration plate. So you, the mice did not have to work out to lose weight and they increased bone density corresponding to the decrease in fat. So uh, the, that means that they didn't increase 30% in their bone density, but a total of, for the mice who lost 30% in fat, they had, I think it was 12% increase in bone density, but that's in 15 weeks, which that's is incredible. incredible. Yes. What it's saying is it is sending a really powerful signal to your bones that they need to increase bone density. The problem is that, oops, see, that's not supposed to be there. Hmm. Let me see what's next. Uh oh, things got messed up. Um, which one was this? Maybe that was gonna be next. Okay, so um, what this is showing is that this is a, a woman who was 70 years old in 2004 when she came to me, she had been losing bone density. She'd been getting, these are the different points on this graph are DEXA scan. Before she came to me, she had negative 3.8 T-score. That's in her spinal call, in her, her vertebrae. And then uh, by the time she got to me, it was negative 3.9. Spike, she was taking a lot of really great supplements and she was working out at a gym, doing weightlifting. So she came to me, she was really discouraged. She gave up on the weightlifting and started Vibration in 2004. And look what happened. Woo. Wow, wow, wow. Friggin', friggin' awesome, right? And she was not young. She was 70 in 2004. That's so <laughs> yeah, that's pretty incredible results. And I, you know, I, I have to say that is not typical. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. okay. if that was typical, everybody would know about it by now. All right. So um, it is a lot more difficult to increase bone density for the people who need it. Older women, especially, but older people in general. By the time you're getting older, you've got um, all kinds of other factors. Building bone is very complicated and um, you know, nutrition is really huge, but older people, they don't absorb nutrients the way they once did. And a lot of people are on drugs and lots of drugs in, interfere with absorption and metabolism. And um, the bone density drugs don't work well because they basically knock out the cells that are getting rid of old damaged bone. So you, you look like you're having, you have more what you have is just brittle bone that is um, diseased and dangerous situations can result. As opposed to whole body vibration, there is. You, you went silent, Becky. 
What, Andy? You, you went silent for a moment. You're good. Just a, you're good. Um, you're good now. Okay. You're good. All right. Well, what I was the point I was making is that the weight loss, the the uh, bone density medications are dangerous and have horrible side effects, whereas whole body vibration has nothing but benefits. So um, you do need to be careful. Make sure you don't have contraindications. But you got all kinds of fabulous benefits along with the potential to really improve bone density. So um, in a safe way. Okay, let's see. Okay, it is important to use the right kind of vibration. We got two major types of vibration. You got vertical, which is the kind that I recommend. That's on the left side. The whole plate is moving up and down rapidly, 20 to 50 times per second. Oscillation on the right side is um, much wilder motion. And because it's much wilder, it's more like having a foot on either end of a seesaw. It runs much slower, typically zero to 20 times per second is it oscillating. So um, with the vertical motion, you're going to get much more intense message because it's happening so fast. And because it's not wild, it's very smooth and calm, which is sending a calm message into your brain that helps it go into a meditative state, I believe where it can focus on healing as opposed to if you are in a situation where your body feels like maybe it's going to get you know thrown off of this machine which is why they usually come with handles the oscillating type then your brain doesn't go into calm meditative state where it can focus on healing it's in fight or flight got to run away can't focus on healing other major major point is you never want to use a double motor or dual motion machine where two motors are running at the same time. It does give you, it, has, it can give you a very high amplitude and G-force, which by itself might be a good thing for bone density, but I believe it's completely uh, wiped out by the negative of the chaotic desynchronizing message going into your brain. I personally got really, really sick from a double motor machine and through trial and error, finally figured out exactly that the problem was the double motor because I have now been doing a single motor vertical vibration for gosh, 15 years. And instead of getting horribly ill as I did with the double motor one, I get nothing but better. So um, there's also a survey that we did uh, a year ago, we did a survey on people using the kind of vibration that I recommend, this Power 1000 machine that I sell and I developed. And it is a single motor vertical vibration, just the right amount of power and type of vibration. I get way better results than the medical research because they use the wrong kind of machine most of the time. And when, even when they do use the right kind of machine, they don't do it properly. They try to do too much. They don't understand that this is so powerful. And for an older person who has some health issues, you can't approach it the way the machines were originally developed for athletes, for Olympic athletes. Okay, it's a completely different situation. So, so powerful. You should start with seconds or a minute maybe if you're on the lowest speed setting, if you have any health issues, which by the time most of us are hitting 50, 60, they're starting to crop up in most people. So um, bone density in our survey, we had nobody losing bone, which was reporting loss bone. And I can't say that this is gonna be 100% accurate because the test, the, the survey covered two years. And many people are not getting tested for bone density that often. So um, a lot of people were responding that they didn't know. They couldn't answer the question. But we did have some people reporting a very significant increase in bone density. That's 7.5%. And some were a little better. And quite a few hadn't, didn't have any change. But that includes people who were on drugs and were able to get off their drugs because they had been losing bone density and now they weren't anymore. So it's, it wasn't bad at all. Um, 
So using this machine, just a quick recap of the result, the overall results are so much better. I, medical research kind of struggles to show that for the population we're talking about, older people with health problems, that strength, energy, and mobility improve. And they don't even look at sleep, mood, and anxiety. Um, but my clients report just dramatic results here. And again, it's because we're using the right kind of machine and approaching it properly. Uh, okay, most of the people coming to me are kind of into natural health. So they're probably, they're, they're usually already watching what they eat, eating well, trying to take care of their bodies in general. So we add this into an already pretty good program. I'm not sure, you know, if you weren't, if you're not watching what you eat, it'd be harder to show great results. So um, pain, pain levels drop dramatically using this machine. And all right, I wanted to point out to you one more thing on this graph. 2004, Mary was using a more powerful machine with me. She was actually using a double motor machine because originally I had one. So this is way back then. And she used that for the first year or so. And you can see she went up this much, which is, uh, you know, she went up about one point on the T-score. Now in the same amount of time, right here, right in eight, uh, around August, 2005 is when she switched to a single motor machine because that's what I now had. And look, in the same amount of period, her bone density actually went up faster. So I find that very, very interesting. Don't, you don't have, you know, a lot of proof on that, but things need studying. Okay, here's some other people who were increasing their bone density and uh, very encouraging. Bone density increased 6% in hip and spine in one year. And the second one, 72 years old, has, has the bones of a healthy 40 year old. Wow, whoops, I missed one. In this one. That, that's supposed to be fun at the end. Okay, and the last one, here's the one who sh she can stop taking her medications. For the first time in 10 years, she's not losing bone. Very encouraging. And happy Halloween. Thank you. Your bones are thanking you. They're very happy to be vibrating. And there's my contact info if you need to contact me or would like to. I would love to hear from you.